Everybody's catching lots of fish. Uh, today, I'm re-rigging some rods because I'm going fishing tomorrow. So I thought there's not a better time than now to give you guys a quick how-to for beginners um, on how to unspool and re-spool baitcaster. Super simple. Um, I'm going to show you a quick hack on how to uh, unspool it so you're not sitting there pulling line off for like 20 minutes, you know, and running into bird nests because you want to pull it off quick and stuff like that. So sit back, relax, and we'll show you how to do it. All right, so of course, step one, cut off whatever bait you have tied on, um, and then leave about, let's see, about a good 12 inches off or so, uh, hanging out in front of your bait caster. And then grab a drill motor. tie a knot. Probably the most important thing that you want to do is tighten your spool tension down all the way. Okay? That way when you go to do this, like, because if, if your spool tension is set super loose and you go to do this, it's going to burden us like crazy. So, make sure that spool tension, this knob here, is uh, pretty tight. Set your release. Make sure that your drill motor is turning left for Lefty Lucy. There you go. Super quick. Turn up the speed. done. And this just peels right off. Your line just peels right off of the drill bit. Problem so solved. the first thing that you want to do is put your reel back on your rod. Slide it on there. Tighten it down. I'm going to loosen that spool tension back up. So I'm going to grab my Berkeley Vanish 12 pound fluorocarbon. This stuff is legit, guys. I fish the rivers more than I fish lakes. And I can tell you this stuff right here, it's the real deal. All right. Stick it through this guide hole here. And then you're gonna to wanna to put it through hole, at least two holes here. And this is how I this is how I spool my bait casters. Everybody's different. But this way's worked wonders for me. Alright, now once the once the line comes through on the other side, if you're like me and have big fingers, you have to grab it with a pair of pliers or something. Then you grab the other end, and I just tie a super, super simple knot. And I try not to have too much excess line. Now from here, this part's set up. Now, you need to take this, and now, if you don't have a spooling machine and you're basic like me, I just take a pencil. And honestly, <laughs> this is actually what I use right here. It's a wire brush. I use it to clean my gun. But, slide it right through the hole. 
and it spins. It's very important that you want you know you you want to put something in here to un to you know when you're spooling up your rods because if not you're going to end up with a crap ton of line twists. Um, you're going to spend more time fiddling with your tackle than you are going to be fishing if you have a line twist. So remember, have something that you can stick in there. You're going to want to prop it up somewhere where it freely spins. So from here, once you have that set up, um, once you have your line set up, this is the easy part. Now you just got a reel. Until the amount desired by you is achieved, then you can cut it off. There you have it, folks. Super quick way to unspool and then re-spool your reels. I hope this video helped. If it did, smash that thumbs up and drop a comment on what your preferred method is uh, to re-spool your reels. Until then, make sure to smash that subscribe button and we'll catch you on the next one.